holy Moses. This game was insane. This game was on whatever Ray Liotta was on in the second half of Goodfellas. It was that kind of wild game here. And somehow the New York Yankees pull it out. Thanks to Frenchy Cordero, Oswaldo Cabrera, Kyle Gashioka, somehow coming through to put together this win for the Bronx Bombers. And what made this win so amazing was after the first inning, it looked dead. The Yankees looked completely out of it after that first inning in which Aaron Hicks, we think he comes up with it. It's clear he doesn't. You know, they originally ruled a double play. And then the Guardians, as far as we know, don't challenge it. The umpires decide to give him a challenge anyway. They overturn it. Boone gets kicked out. I mean, I'll just say that right off the top. That was... If it's true the Guardians didn't challenge in 15 seconds, that is absolutely unbelievable, and I cannot believe that Major League Baseball just allowed for that to happen. Incredibly stupid to just just give them a challenge like that. Insane. And, you know, yeah, Boone had every right. We, we don't get him. I get on Boone a lot. He was absolutely right to be furious at that call because that was beyond stupid. And I thought right after that, I really thought the game was over. It just seemed like the Yankees were dead for the next couple innings. They had Clark Schmidt on the mound, and you didn't feel good about that. And Clark Schmidt actually wasn't terrible after the first inning, although he did give up the home run to Ahmad uh, Rosario. And then also after the Naylor single, whatever that was, he then gave up an RBI single to Josh Bell, too. So it was three runs in the third inning. Um, aside from the Rosario home run, Schmidt wasn't awful the rest of the way. But, yeah, he wasn't good. And once again shows that the Yankees really need to move on from him being a starter, as his ERA is at a crisp 8.44. I really thought it was over, especially in the next few innings, where the Yankees don't really have any any energy going forward. It was one, two, three, second, one, two, three, third, one, two, three, fourth. But it all turned around, and let's start off with giving Oswaldo credit because he was the first one to get on base in the top of the fifth. That single to right really got things going, and then IKF hit a single that bounced off um, the third baseman's glove, and then it was you know Kyle Gashioka, a single to center, hits off the wall. Uh, and then the second baseman or whatever hits the umpire. Uh, Larry Vanover gets nailed in the head by someone, uh, either the second baseman or the shortstop, whatever. Um, it was a double, excuse me, not Hickey, not, not, not. So I guess it was ruled a single, but he went to second on the throwing error. So that was great to see Hickey hit that hit that double there. And you know, we've, been, we've been beating on Hickey a little bit, but boy, he came through when we needed it there. And then Frenchie Cordero. This is beyond remarkable what this man has done for us. You know, Brian Cashman gets a lot of a lot of crap. Boy, does he know how to find these diamonds in the rough. And he does it here again. We saw it with Matt Carpenter last year. He does it again here. Why is it that he's so good on the small moves and the big moves he struggles on? I have no clue. But whatever it is, um, he, 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 he was a brilliant move to get Frenchie Cordero, at least so far. Four home runs so far for Frenchie here uh, in the 2023 season. And that tied the game. And really got, I mean, from then on, you felt like the Yankees really had all the momentum going. After Again, after that terrible second... After those terrible first four innings, amazing that they were able to bounce back in the fifth and then here in the seventh get the home run. And then in the ninth inning, we get Giancarlo Stanton reaching first thanks to an error by Rosario. And then Oswaldo Cabrera coming through again, putting us ahead in the ninth, a single into right that scored Glaber, uh, the hit off the right field wall. And the Yankees win this one here 4-3 to three in the most spectacular fashion and the Yankees somehow have won all four series here in spring that's why all of you need to get off your high rush when you're complaining about this team oh Luby can't hit this then the rotations that is after the Yankees are eight and four right now so and let me tell you if we had slightly better starting pitching we'd be ten and two but we're eight and four and be thankful that we are because so far this team has been able to bounce back this team has been able to fight and give us some incredible performances here this is the victory of the season so far this is the victory of the season I know we've had some pretty good wins so far but this is the one considering all the uh, all that we had to overcome in the first inning and the, the morale of this team just seemingly going through right through the ground after the first inning for them to bounce back to, re, to, re, to regroup after again after a second third and fourth inning where they showed no life then as Waldo gets that hit in the fifth and they were able to come alive and win this game that takes courage that shows um, a real strong backbone for this team and I'm hoping that it carries us the rest of the way but the Yankees have now won all four series here to start the season and I could not be more happy I could not be more proud yeah, we can have issues with the starting pitching, how, you know, Clark Schmidt needs to go away. But credit to the bullpen, Marinaccio, King, Peralta, shutting down Cleveland. Also good seeing Volpe hit an, uh, a triple today, uh, or it was either a double or a triple, in his first uh, time batting leadoff. Um, he got one hit today, that was all, but, you know, I'm really hoping he's able to turn around here eventually. And then anyway, seeing guys like Oswaldo and, and uh, Frenchie and 
Gashio could come through. That was a delight. Still, still saw Aaron Hicks uh, bat over today, so that was great to see. But what a win for the Yankees. 8-4 and four to start the season. They just keep rolling, and now it is off back home to take on the Minnesota Twins in, the, in a four-game series starting tomorrow, and we will be live. Well, we will not be live, but we will have a recap from you after that game. And let's hope that... Hope that we got Johnny Brito on the mound tomorrow. Let's hope things go well for the Yankees. That's it for now, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to this channel and you like to see, make sure you subscribe down below. I will be back tomorrow to break down Yankees and Twins. I need a minute to catch my breath after this spectacular performance. Take care and God bless.